everybody? It is I, Advantage Slots, here in Las Vegas at the Aria Hotel and Casino, to be exact. And today, we're going to be taking a look and explaining how to Advantage play IGT's Scarab Link. Now, as you look at this machine here, you'll see that it looks very similar to its predecessor, Scarab. However, there are a few key differences to this machine from the original. Like the original, this game is played on a 10 game cycle where you are to collect scarabs, which on the 10 spin will either turn wild or into these blue like ovals where there will be credits or perhaps even progresses inside of them. Six or more of those trigger the hold and spin feature. Here are the rules of the game, including how to get the free games and whatnot. As always with these instructional videos, if you're interested in reading about this in more detail, pause the video and go about it at your own pace. Now, another difference between the original and Scarab Blink is that Scarab Blink doesn't pay quite as well. The pay table is a bit weaker than on the original. I suppose that's because um, of the progressives that you can win. Now, like so many machines out there these days, it is a multi-denominational game. So your job as a slot hustler is to Go about each and every single bet level at each and every single denom and search for screens where there is an accumulation of scarabs with a few spins or so to go before they turn wild or into the blue ovals. Now, there are no plays, so what I'm doing here is I'm playing the machine straight up so you guys can see how the game plays. Another difference again between this one and the original is that on Scarab Link, it is much easier to collect scarabs. And there's a reason why I'll get into that in a little bit. See, if this was the original, we'd be setting ourselves up for a really nice line pay. As you see right here, combination of wilds and the blue ovals. You see credits. You see wild, you see progressives rolling on through. I just need one more credit or progressive to trigger the hold and spin. Many chances to do it here. And boom, there it is. There's the sixth one. I've got the hold and spin. Like Aristocrats, Dragon Link and Lightning Link, get three spins. If I collect all 20 symbols... I win that grand jackpot right there of $11,000. Anytime I fill up a spot on the screen, again, like Dragon Link and Lightning Link, it resets to three. Because this is a IGT machine and I haven't played a Scare Blink that much, I'm not sure if it's like aristocrats um, link games where small numbers attract small numbers, big numbers attract big numbers. I don't know the details to that or the answer to that, I should say. But as you see, for the most part, I got a bunch of little numbers. And this little hold and spin paid off a whopping... $16.25, which is uh, okay. <laughs> Combine that with the the wilds, the line pays, paid a total of $23.59. As I point right here, um, unfortunately, the credits do not count as wilds. So I believe one of, the, again, one of the reasons why Scarabs accumulate easier is because a lot of times those numbers uh, will serve as blockers similar to if you're playing a machine and you need three bonus symbols to trigger you know for a bonus a lot of times the bonus symbols will get in the way of a good line pay and unfortunately that's what the credits kind of do in this game so I'm playing it straight up one more time and I'm collecting a fair amount of scarabs see right here again this would be a Really nice line pay on spin 10, if this was the original. 
Just need one more for the hold and spin. I do not get it. And unfortunately, as I just said, with the uh, credit symbols not counting as wilds, they block everything. And that right there paid a dollar and fifteen cents. So that's Scarab Blink. It's not my favorite machine, advantage play machine in the world, uh, but it is something to check out every now and then. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.